Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back here today for another Kickstarter critique. We're taking a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and get my honest thoughts on how the project is being ran. And today, I'm very excited to be checking out uh, a project that is in the around the 180th most popular project in all of games. I lost track around uh, 180, but that is Mushroom Sorcerer, a 1-4 to four player game with area control and variable player powers, battle with other sorcerers, and win the seat, dot, dot, dot. So the reason why I spotlighted this is because I like the main image. I thought it did some solid things here. So fun in two hours, don't really care. But they're showcasing the fact that it's going to have these big wooden dice towers, uh, tall, what looks like plastic components maybe. One, I know the player count. I know the mechanisms with the area control and the variable player powers. Uh, just launched, uh, just don't care. Um, and, and then this, that's nice. But I'd love to zoom in on the box, zoom in on the artwork. Uh, I just, I feel like it's good, but I think it'd be better if it was just zoomed a little bit. Also, it's from Hong Kong, Hong Kong, which is not typically where we see a lot of board games from, so I'm excited to check this one out, and let's get into it. Uh, Battle of the Sorcerers, win the seat of the Great Sorcerer, and yeah, so those look like plastic ships or something. Those look like really interesting components. I wish they weren't blurred out. Uh, I'd like to know what those are. As already we go into the video, I'm thinking three things, though. Do I want it? Can you do it? And how much is it? Ahoy there, Mo! All right, let's go. Elementus is a land filled with all kinds of mystical elements. In every duo lunar year, the Great Sorcerer's Apprentice Tournament is held in the Enchanted Forest. With the aid of the elemental mushrooms, Goo, they will be harnessing the power of magic and potion to compete for the highest influence, hence becoming the Great Sorcerer. Mushroom Sorcerer is- Okay, so the first 22 seconds was nothing but theme, and it just sounds like it's a pretty generic theme. But now, this is what I want to see. Now, great, I think this is a 3D rendering, but still, uh, I see the raised board, I see custom wooden meeples over here, I see the screen printed on them, they look good. Nice looking board, I'm excited. It's an American style strategic game for one to four players. Mm -hmm. In the game, you- I like how I can see how that's constructed, that was a nice little touch. You can build your own map with different kinds of landscape, and grow goo to collect flame, thunder, water, or rock elements. You can visit the ruins to collect spell scrolls, Form your spell chain with those ancient wisdom to intimidate your opponents. Drink your own set of potions to stimulate your sense towards different elements. Pick the recipe that best fits the round status. Okay, so the last 15 seconds kind of lost me. Like you were talking about in-game stuff mixed with like the components, and I didn't under I didn't really understand what you were talking about at all. You may find conflict inevitable. Attack other sorcerers' goo towers to avoid them from overexpanding. Now we're back, I understand that. Knock down their towers. Summon stone and fire servants to join your team. Winning in a battle to raise your influence. Get closer to the seat of the great sorcerer. However, there lies a forbidden shrine that will send trespassers into the Mirage world to face the malicious sorcerer's what? souls from the past. Mirage World mode can be added for a solo or two to three player game. Ah, okay, so it's an alternate game mode that can be solo or cooperative that's probably going to cost extra. And that's going to be the pledge level that I imagine most people are going to take here. So I do like that. They're mentioning uh, a little bit of how much is it by talking about the different pledge levels, even if it is just kind of a, you know, low key dropping it in there. Grab your wand and play your spell. Support Mushroom Sorcerer now on Kickstarter. What is this? This is just some random game I decided to cover on Kickstarter that's in the 180th popularity. So, so, uh, so there's some things in there that I like and a lot of things that I didn't like. I felt like we really meandered around the theme a lot. I feel like we got a little bit too much into the artwork there, especially when you're talking about the mechanisms of the game and trying to tell me how the game works a little bit. I think it would have been a little bit cleaner in those parts if you showed me gameplay-wise, like what's happening on the board. You know, I could connect these tiles. I showed those tiles with the special symbology on them, but I was like, well, what, but, what, but what does that mean? How does that work? So it's okay. I think it was an okay video. I don't think it's a great video. 584 backers have brought this to life 11 days ago. Love seeing that. And then we got Isaac Liu, Headblown Studios, is a group of Hong Kongers who are creating new and innovative board games not limited to American or European style games. Headblown experience with unique Asian or even a Hong Kong style board games. Our goal is to create fun and joyful games for everyone. So that's interesting. That that, that gets me excited. So we got Meeple on board and backer kit. So I think Meeple on board might do some customer service, but not 100% sure. Uh, let's check it out. 
billionaire rumor this one was canceled then we have billionaire sergeant last straw 314 backers brought this billionaire sergeant a game about betrayal so this one was not successful Unsuc uh, so this one was unsuccessful canceled successful canceled and then this one is successful let's make sure that everybody got billionaire sergeant that's the thing i'm most concerned about here all right updates another journey begins so hate that i don't know why we're hiding stuff any problem hope all hope is safe and healthy we're writing to see if there's still any officer hasn't received their game yet if you still have not received your game or any question awesome so people have gotten their stuff that is a thing great i still received my game would you contact me about this issue thank you but that's two years ago so can you do it i feel comfortable they have done this before this looks like another game you know i don't feel like any of the components here are you know that outlandish or lavish especially if you, when you factor in most of them are going to look like they're going to be constructed by popping together you know uh cardboard pop outs because a lot of games will do that sort of thing and that works that works pretty well most of the time uh one to four players 45 to 90 minutes ages 14 plus was that on the marquee i, I feel like the 45 to minutes 90 might have been mentioned uh should have been mentioned because i don't think that was mentioned yeah i think that's something maybe we squeeze in there fun in two hours who cares just launch two hours uh who cares Mushroom Sorcerer's American-style war board game. Oh, wow. For one of four players, set in a fantasy world. You as a sorcerer will grow mysterious mushroom GU. Use potions. Uh, area control. Variable player power. Double victory paths like that. Engine building. Tech tree. I really like this use of symbology here. This is very nice. The symbology mixed with that. Uh, uh, that's really clean and clear. There hangs the twin moon. There's a thing. There's the stuff. Things about the game. Drink your potion. Oh, now we're talking a little bit more about that. Ooh, I did not see these in this video. So now we're getting some some things with ta text on them. Because that was something that I felt was uh, missing a little bit in that video. Because the more text I see, you know, the more meat typically there's going to be in a game. Unless it's a storytelling. Well, yeah. Just more. I expect there to be meat. Uh, Raise magic GU. Harness a various element from the GU. So those are the actual components. Yeah, they pop in there. They look nice. Those are cool. Master Ancient Tiles looks good. And this looks like a really nice prototype. Like, I wonder if this is the prototype straight from the factory, because that looks fantastic. Battle for Influence. Always keep an eye on your... Oh, got it. This is all gameplay. What's in the box? So, 61 bucks. A buck over MSRP. I don't have an issue with that at all. Because, once again, I know with a game like this, this isn't one of those games where like, oh, I'm just waiting until retail and save money on shipping. No, this, this could very really, realistically be the only time that this game is ever printed, ever uh in english potentially uh, and you hope not hopefully the thing goes off like gangbusters but so i don't have an issue with that price at all 61 bucks does not bug me it kind of feels like uh it kind of feels like back in like the 90s where people would like buy the imported video games from like japan and stuff and um china and and you'd spend extra money on that but there would be a reason why and i kind of feel like that like this this is going to be something that's going to be on your shelf and people are gonna be like oh i wish i could get that and they're gonna be like ah, they won't have an opportunity unless they do a second print run uh, which would be great. So I would convert this to inches as well. I imagine the majority of people backing this are from the United States of America. So 500. So that is a 21 inch board. Yeah, that's a hefty board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would mention that. Those are that's a big board right there. And the the spot in the middle is cut open. That's a unique one. I like that. You don't see that too terribly often in games. So we have one GU box, uh, which is going to come with 12. So a whole bunch of these. One for Sorcerer Indicator, one Time Indicator, four double-sided Sorcerer boards. I'd zoom in on this. The normal player board, and then the Mirage Mode AI player board. I like that. That's a great shot. I just would love to see it zoomed in a little bit more. Uh, 24 landscape tiles. You're telling me the dimensions of it. That's great. I love this. I love this shot right here of all the different... Uh, the long sexy scrolling shot of the components. I feel like they did a good job on this. Aside from maybe zooming in just a bit more. Then we got the Kickstarter exclusive. Why you need to back now. Uh, and this is the only thing with text, very interestingly enough. Or a lot of text, I should say. So the text here. Hmm. Okay. Four secret potions, 32 spell scrolls, 30 flame servers, 30 stone servers. Those look fantastic. 20 war dice. Man, these are great looking components for 61 bucks. Yeah, I got no issues with this. This looks great. I need to see that rule booklet. Four Q sheets. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'd love to know the size of these well. Because are these the size of the rule booklet? Are these the size of the box? Because, boy, howdy. Player references? I don't care what size they are. Give it the bigger, the better. Mirage mode components can be added to a solo or two to three player game. Oh, this is not even an extra thing. This is included in the box. Fantastic. And you can even add it to a two or three player uh, game. Love that. That's fantastic. And then there's the... Oof, that's a great shot. Woo! If you love fantasy area control game, which has a nice table presence, you might want to check this one out. If you love... That's, that's not a great quote. <laughs> I would not have used that quote. So if you love fantasy area control games, 
Ooh, that have a nice table presence. You might want to check this one out. It's just like, yeah, maybe. Uh, Daily Stretch Goal. Dice Tower Cube of Horus the Red, be, uh, being included in the Master Pledge. So this is the thing that is going to be in that premium pledge. Not the two to three player mode, the solo mode as I thought, the cooperative. Uh, day two, Volving Results. Sun GU, Poison GU, Chatter GU, the chosen expansion GU species. This is some cool stuff here. Okay. I still, you know, is that, so in the Master Pledge. Have we gotten to the pledges? I don't feel like we have. I've only seen this one. The Sorcery Fanat. No, this is a different one. Okay, so you need to show me the pledges. I'm not going to go look over here, because once again, if you're on iOS or mobile, you don't see any of that. That's a huge chunk of people browsing. So I'll do this the right way. Poison GU is a GU species bred by... I got it. Uh, see, what, what, what am I getting here? Both included the both apprentices. So, cool. They're having a both. I love that. Box insert. A neat organization. Wow. I think that... I don't know that spell right. I don't know how to spell organization either. Oh, this makes a pleasant game. Uh, I do love that. Four new spells in the Huru's expansion. Huru's expansion. Oh, there's another expansion. Cause that's not the expand. That's not the master punch. That's a whole other separate thing. Day five. We get two hundred likes on BGG. Make it clickable. I'll give you one right now if you made that clickable. Box interior illustration. Okay. Uh, I don't think that one really moves the needle for anybody. Like it's nice and it makes the box look better, but it's like there's a million. Maybe not a million, but there's at least. 800,000 other things I'd rather have as a stretch goal. Or an unlock. Uh, new landscape in the Horus expansion. An ethereal bird song echoes in the Wind Valley. So a new tile. Cool. Great. Back arts of ground tiles. Uh, these are called Forbidden Land. These, So this is great. So this is this art. You know, I love this art way more than I love that art because this art makes adds to the theme of the game. This one kind of does, but honestly, you know, you're, after you open the box, you're going to start putting stuff back into the box. You're probably going to be putting that fancy insert in there. I don't know. Just a weird one. Spell loading. The next daily stretch goal will be unveiled on September 22nd. That's nice. I do like that. It's very clean. It's very clear. Uh, more daily stretch. More daily goals are coming. Kickstarter exclusive. This is the Dice Tower in four detachable units. Wow. That's impressive. Woo. I don't think most people are going to want this, but that looks really nice. How to buy. Two units. Four units. So this is uh, fifteen twenty-five. Oh, that's actually not bad. I was expecting that to be more expensive. So actually with that price, I don't have an issue with that. Free gift for early bird backers of the following pledges. Great. Apprentice, Master. So we're going to have at least three pledges. Secret Potion. One for each character. What, where are we at? What am, I, what am I looking at now? These are Kickstarter exclusive. Okay, so now I'm learning about all the Kickstarter exclusive. Got it. Secret Potion. One for each character. Great. I think. Why do I want this? What's it do? Is there a back to it? Okay. Doesn't really tell me much. The two ways to win bring a lot of dynamics in the game and plot twists. Nice that each player has his own potions with powers. It has many game mechanics like area majority, dice rolling, and hexagon grid. Okay. Uh, so they're saying, I like the fact that you can win in a couple different ways. None of these quotes are really winning me over. I don't know what they... That one just lacked the it. Uh, Mirage mode. The sacred place. So now we're talking about that. Cool. Adjustable difficulty. Ooh, love that. That's great. Lo location variant. Fast changing and challenging battlefields. This looks like a really cool game. Smart deployment. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the pledge levels and the shipping. The frontline backlight design in the Mirage mode is also earning compliments for its smelt smart self-run mechanism. I will uh, kudos to that one. I always love solo modes where it's like really dirt simple to figure out. Arcana Rising, for instance, comes to my mind. That's one of the game uh, that I just put, added to my collection just because the solo mode was just so clean and clear. I could, I could play that solo at the drop of a hat. So then we got Horus in the Echo of the Wind. So this is an expansion. Uh, so the core game plus expansion is going to cost you $82. But that's also going to come with the e, this, too. The Dice Tower. Day one unlock. But only if you get it on day one. So not not everybody. Does that another player? I don't know if that does, but that's great. That looks like a solid expansion. I want that. I want the character. I want his things. Or her things. A turbulent to the tournament. What is this? The wind GU allows you to grow GU on your enemies. GU towers and swirl away resources. So that's their mechanisms. Cool. Sounds neat. Are these all asymmetrical? I think they were. I think that was one of the mechanisms. Uh, look back at your memories. Not now, OneDrive. What the hell? I'm at work. Uh, Apprentice. <laughs> so, core game, 61 bucks. I'd love to know the size of this. I'd love to know, is this a ticket to ride size box? I don't think it is. I think it's going to be slightly smaller, which I don't have an issue with. It's just I'd like to know that. 82 for that. Okay. Special offer. We provide packages of six boxes. DS. For more details, so that's uh, retailer pretty much. Or if you're shipping somewhere um, where you just want to combine shipping. Got it. So let's check out what the pledge levels breakdowns. Two bucks, access to the pledge manager, 
Uh, okay, 100 people sitting on the fence. Sorcery Fanatic. This is for the game. I imagine uh, this one's going to be the most, the, the highest one. Seven backers. Yeah, nobody wants the Sorcery Fanatic. Oh, no, what is the Sorcery Fanatic? Oh, this is for if you want to get the group pledge. That's the one at the bottom. Got it. Apprentice. 76. And then the big one, 394 for Master. Okay. Looks about right. You know, make it a 500,000 print run. What are they doing, though? I do want to double check that based on how much money they have. That's the other thing, too. So they've raised 33000 bucks. Okay. Because essentially they're making one game, one expansion, these things, which I imagine are going to come, like, pre-packaged in, like, a flat thing. Have you ever gotten some of these wooden dice towers before? Uh, a lot of times the, the, they, 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 go, they fold and then you kind of pop them out and you assemble them. It works really well. I've got a couple of them before. Uh, so I imagine so this looks like three things that they're making. That doesn't seem too bad. Seems pretty reasonable to me. Uh, okay. Let's keep going. Anything else? Shipping. I need shipping. That's it. Oh, what are we talking about here? What is this? All, what is all this? Add-ons. Okay. Dice Tower. Two unit set. Okay. Free shipping. Ooh, I do like to mention that. 25. So this is just extra. If you get this, if you get the game, you can just add. That's great. And, and this is one thing. I'm going to give them a half point grade bump up right there for making that super clean and clear for anyone. Uh, I think that's how you move add-ons right there. Hey, free shipping. And letting me know it's free shipping, too, because that's the other thing. Because it might be free shipping, you might, you just might not tell me, which I've seen before. I've seen it in the, the comments, like, hey, what happens if I add this? And people are like, oh, actually, we're just going to add that to the initial cost. Like, yeah, then spotlight that. That's great. Uh, so the four-unit set, and they're spotlighting the fact that you can stack them on top of each other. Cool, I guess. Enable pins. All right. Billionaire Sergeant, the original game. I like, I like having that there. A highly strategic deduction game for three to six players. Based on Hong Kong historical events. That sounds neat, actually. Uh, and then we have the Billionaire Sergeant 1974 Core Game Plus expansion, which presumably was part of the Kickstarter, which is why you want to do that. And then we have the shipping. So it's 20 bucks, 25 bucks. This is very cleanly laid out. That's great. So what are my price here? I'm looking at 87 I'm looking at $107 for everything and out the door. Seems a bit high. I'm not going to lie. That seems a bit high. But I go back to my original analogy. It feels like I'm ordering something that's only going to have one print run. Fingers crossed that's not right. And I expect to pay a slightly higher price for that. Now this price, well, no, but I remember the components I felt like were really solid. I just feel like I need to know the size of this box a little bit more. Uh, I think that would help me a lot more. Like the dimensions of the actual box. So I don't feel like it's a great price, but I feel like it's about a Kickstarter price. And it's, it's kind of around... Oh, and then how to play? Whoa! They go like, this is buried. Beautiful. Yeah, I think that's like a ticket to ride size box. And then I see these components, and then I'm like, yeah, 107. That seems about right. The big stackable things. Chinese tutorial, English tutorial, fantastic. Full playthrough. Uh, different language, but still awesome bunch of different languages it looked like more reviews the multiplayer is incredibly satisfying to play the components are a blast to look at and use mushroom sorcerer can't be anything other than a big hit on kickstarter Ugh. like it's such a just a generic fluff quote uh this game is perfectly understandable icons and clear rules this is the most fun and great game among the games i've played recently okay mushroom sorcerer's game that really is a fun race okay okay i got it character i just what do i need do i need anything else no, I've got the shipping, I've got the price, okay. I don't have an issue with any of the stuff being here, then. We got the people, we got the stuff, check out the things, alright. Let's check out the FAQ, the updates, the comments. Uh, I'm not a fan of this, I don't, I don't organize this, personally. You know, because my question is number question 15, I have to read through 15 other questions before I find mine, and I would organize it, like, reload from Colossal Games. Uh, you can just Google that, or kickstart search them. They, they organize it in a really nice way, and this one is not. Uh, how can I try this game up front? Is there a tabletop? Ooh, Tabletopia, tabletop. Wait, 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 wait. I don't feel like we saw that. I don't feel like you mentioned that, did you? I could have swore I would spotlight that. I don't feel like they mentioned that. I would spotlight that. That's the kind of thing that I think potentially you have it on the main image, maybe, even. But definitely substantially higher than in the FAQ. Let's check out the engagement. Two, four, one, one, ugly. Uh, five, eight, five... So let's check it out. Let's see what the most engaging one was. It was eight. Let's see what's going on in here. And once again, I'm not expecting huge numbers for this just because there's 585 backers. Um, there's not a huge number of backers, but still, you know, eight's, eight's not zero. 
As we approach the 250% funding milestone, it's again the announcement of the second daily stretch goal. This time, we would love to invite you to join our design journey. You're going to vote, which we're going to develop and offer. So once again, it's a vote. So this is the most engaging one because they got people to vote. Shadow seems to be the best. Shadow seems to be the best. I voted Sun. Sun and Shadow sound the most interesting. Why not all of them? What about a GU that you can grow in? Oh, that's cool. Well, it's amazing. Nice to know, and thank you very much. Uh, okay, so they did get some engagement there. Not as much as I imagine they were probably hoping for. As much as honestly as I would expect. Especially with how unique this game looks. I expect there would be a little bit more people chiming in there. We have over 500 backers, but only 100 on likes on BGG. It's easy. Yeah, make it clickable. Everyone make sure once per day to hit the pod kickstrap to bump visibility. Uh, I feel this project is so good it should be doing way better. What games am I missing something? Probably because of the bigger project, and this one is based in Asia and not much marketing outside of Asia. We have partnered with other marketing agencies, but overall result is not quite good. The main reason may be crowded with other big projects and centers suggested. People have already spent too much on other projects, and then they would like to save more money for Essen as well. Okay. So, final grade for this one. Uh, no, I want to look at the community real quick. I always like to look at that one. So, still, yeah, that's why I convert those inches right there. Uh, still di dominated. I almost said dynamated. Ooh, Kowloon. Big time. Coming up 12. Like it. Uh, with nearly 300 people from the United States of America. So I would convert those, uh, the inches and stuff. And I would like to know the size of the box a little bit cleaner and clearer. Indianapolis. Woo, Indiana. Showing up. So, final grade. Do I want it? Yes. Uh, I feel like the video did a deep, it did a good job intriguing me. I like how much of the board you showed me. And then when I went through the page, I actually got to see the real components and see what the prototype looked like. And how fantastic it looked. Like, that just looks really good. It has lots of mechanisms. Could I click? Did I get the rule booklet? That's the thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. I did not get a rule booklet here. So that's a half point grade bump down from me as well. Also, I was not the biggest fan of not spotlighting. I'm scrolling real quick here. Yeah, anywhere did I see. Oh, wait, here it is. You may doubt the Oh, here it is. Here it is. But it's so, like, it's, I don't know. Take that back. Take back, excuse Never mind. Half point grade bump down back. So it's there. Let's see. Check it out. Component setup. Component setup. We'll get there. Uh, this is a different language. Okay. English. There we go. Component setup. Is that what I'm getting here? Mirage mode. Oh, this is a Mirage mode one. I don't want the Mirage mode. I just want the regular. Okay. Either way, it's there. You can check that out. So I like that. Do I want it? Yeah, I think it looks like an interesting game. I feel like it also has one of those vibes of being like, ooh, if I get this game, no one else in my... No one else that I know is going to have this game, most likely. You know, that's that's a cool feeling as a board game. You feel a little bit snooty. So, uh, you know, a little kudos there. Can you do it? Yes, they've done one before. And this is the second one. They are making... They're over... They're extending a little bit with the dice towers and the pin and the game and the expansion. But at the end of the day, I don't feel like it's that much stuff. Especially considering this is literally probably as simple as, hey, give us your design and we print it on a dice tower. So it's not... So, and same with the pin as well. That's just artwork. So... Can you do it? Yeah, I'll feel comfortable with that. How much is it? Price isn't great, but once again, I understand they're shipping it from Hong Kong, Hong Kong. So I imagine you know that's that's far away. That's a far away place <laughs> for for me uh, and for most of people on Kickstarter. So I feel like the cost of shipping definitely bumps it up a little bit, up to around 107 bucks for what you're probably gonna want to get, which is the the fifth or not the fifth player expansion, but the expansion that adds another character. So not a great price, but I don't feel like it's a bad price. So at the end of the day, I feel like I'm going to give this one a... Oh, let me look at that main image one more time. Mm, yeah, this is solid. Mention the mechanisms. Some good stuff here. Showcase this. I want to know more about this. I'm going to go with a C plus. No, I think I'm going to go with a B minus on this one. Uh, I'd love to see this one do it better. It looks like a really sick and cool game. And how to play video. It has a lot of stuff I want. It's got the rule booklet up there. So if it looks like it might be a cup of tea, be sure to check this one out. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And as always, uh, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye.